right. Hey everybody, Mother Turtle here. <laughs> um, I'm doing my very first uh, resin and acrylic paint pour. Um, I normally do a two-step process, um, which is the the acrylic paint mixed with silicone and water, and then I, I make the painting and then I um, wait for it to dry and uh, then I resin coat it. And it's a very intensive process, so I thought I would try to cut out that second step by doing a resin uh, pour. So, here we go. I have my paints all made up, and I'm not quite sure what I want to do, but I think I'm going to, like, go with density. Um, I'm not sure. I think my white paint might be a little thick. But actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do a... Uh, we'll see what this is. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but in the background is, I think, the next to final mix of Cry for the Sea. And um, it's been a long journey with this song. I really thought it would be released, like, three years ago. Um, two years ago, I can't even remember how long it's been now, but it's been a long time. But it sounds really great. And um, Adrian co-produced it with me, and it, it, she arranged it, and it's really arranged very beautifully. I think you're going to like it a lot. Um, I love it, but I'm listening to it now because there's... Um, the very last changes are going to be made, so I'm just listening through it to see um, if there's anything that I want to change before I count. Actually, I'm going to add some white in between there. White is like the magic of pouring a fluid art. Um, it separates, it defines. But I'm not used to this process. It's really very thick because the resin is already in the paint. And, um, but we'll see what happens, because I would think I would love to cut out that second step, which is very time-consuming. And, you know, if the um, resin doesn't set well, if there's air bubbles, then I have to sand it and redo it again. And I think I've done that enough times now to want a um, faster solution. <laughs> so, I hope you all are having a wonderful solstice and um, doing something creative. I can tell that my hand is in the, in the way, but let me just get these down and then we'll, we'll see the magic happen. The fun stuff. Hopefully. It looks kind of thick to me. I don't know. I'm not used to, to the consistency yet, but I think it's close. Not sure that I love the colors I chose. I think I need like a a pink or something in there. But this is what it is. I can't wait for you to hear this song, really. Um, I think I'm proud of it. I think it turned out really well. Um, it was recorded at North Fire Recording Studio in Amherst, Mass. By Garrett Sawyer, engineer extraordinaire. And uh, it's being mixed by Steve Schwartzberg. Um, in, uh, I don't, can't remember where he is, Hanai, Hawaii, or somewhere like that in Hawaii. Um, okay, so we have something here. I'm going to just give it a little torching. Uh, this is a new torch. I'm hoping that it works. I see smoke. <laughs> I think it's on. Alright, we're going to forget that and we're going to use the heat gun. See what we can get happening in here. I 
like what's happening in the white. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to zoom in on this because it's some really cool stuff is happening. paints are, have less density, and um, I'm going to let it run off the sides. I do believe that I will continue with this uh, method. It's um, I want to get the sides. over the edge, encourage it to go over to the edge. I think a little purple would have been nice in here. Alright, well let's focus in on it and see what we have. It's pretty cool. Very sticky. Oh, I'm liking it a lot. It's different than uh, the acrylic paint pour. It's much more subtle, and um, but I like it. I dig it. I'm going to show it to you right now. Ah, oh, let's see. Sorry about that. I might be as far down as I could go. That's it. I'd like to take you to the other, um, the other side. I've got to take off my gloves and all of that. But I think we'll just give it a shot. Sorry for the wacky camera, but I'm the only person here and I do all the work. <laughs> so we'll go over here to my vantage point, and you can see what I was seeing.
Alright, well that's pretty much it. But I kind of like it. Wish I could get closer. My lens won't allow me. Alright, well, going in and out of focus, but you get the idea. That's my first one. I'm going to make a lot more. Alright, see ya.